fifth. And now the right fielder, Dylan Cruz. The wind of the pitch. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Well, these guys digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Here's the tag, and he's out. So up next, Jesse Winker. Your best when you let the game come to you. Tried to make too much happen right there. Not his best at bat. Swing and a miss. Going one. All one's the count. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders, now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. He goes down looking. Josh Bell at the plate now. The first baseman. Yeah. That one almost got him. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. In the air, left field. O'Neill sizing this one up. Makes the catch. And that is that. Top six. And now here is Buck O'Neill. Schultz back to work. Foul off left side. And a pitch. Strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Mitchell hauls it in for the out. One away. And here's the first baseman, the first baseman. Kevin Euclid. Over one so Euclid. far. And first offering is fouled off. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Fires across the diamond. And that's an out. Out there to center. Mitchell really on his horse for it. And that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the six. Here's a big power threat. Eddie Matthews. Matthews. The wide to kick the pitch. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Still able to get it there in time. So they get the first out of the inning. Here's some real power at the plate. Colt Keith. First pitch misses. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Slapped foul. Right hander kicks deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. And the righty deals. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. One down. And here is Hank Thompson. And that's in the dirt. Keith at first, one gone. 
Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Throws to second for one. On the first, double play. And that's the inning. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Chipper Jones. Chipper Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed, and it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. As the lefty gets to work, and first offering is fouled off. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Now batter. So, a man aboard, David Justice, will hit next. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. Kicks and fires. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Rudder at first with no outs here. Left-hand batter waits. Bows it back with two strikes. The pitch. Next offering is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two ball. Two Squirts strikes. away a little bit. And the runner stays where he is. Three. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Jose Altuve digs in now. That one ran inside, almost got him. Now it gets away from Ruiz. Next offering is in for a strike. One out and a runner at second. Here the top half of inning number seven. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. And he deals. Just missing there, and it's one and two. Up with it, fires to first. In time, the two-three strikeout ends the inning. Back here in Denver, and now the center fielder, Garrett Mitchell. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Oh, and two now. Now a high fly ball out to left center. O'Neill going after it. But it's the center fielder who gets there. And there's one down. Hebert Ruiz now at the plate, one for two. Aaron Bummer comes on now. He's into the game with the bases empty. Hammer, base hit. And that turns the lineup over. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fine. Lipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. At the play, at Alberto Mondesi. Robinson. One at second. Throw to first, but he beat it. 
Man at first. Now the number two hitter, Dylan Cruz. One for three. There's your strike. 95 of that one. Mondesi on the move. And there's a foul ball. Man, is he fast. That is so fun to watch. Rudder goes again. It's a pitch out. Trying to wiggle out of a rundown now. To second, and he's out. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. We go to the eighth. Now the third baseman, Hank Thompson. Here comes a pitch. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. You know, the best way to forget about the pain is inflicting some pain and working your way around the bases and touching home plate is a way to stick it to that other team. Rutschman stands in now, looks at that one inside. Swings and misses. And it's one and one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Close one. Doesn't get the call. And it's two and two. Rutschman tries to hold up. Appeal to first. No swing. Eric Summers go with the call. And now the lefty foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And here it comes. High in the air, out to right. Gets under it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's the left fielder, Buck O'Neill. Buck O'Neill. Going one. Oh, and one. And that catches the low inside corner. Good fastball. Back up the middle and a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. So digging in, Kevin Euclidus. There's a strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A three run homer. It's 6 3. So the lineup flips over. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jackie Robinson. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. First oh, offering and it just misses. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. One down, base is empty. That's out to center field. Mitchell brings it in, and there's two down. So now here's the DH, Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that's down and away. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Already three runs across in the frame, and we're in the top of the eighth. Cut out and miss, struck him out, and that is that.